Welcome to the Bavarian Racing Challenge. Today we are gonna race on Spa. Spa is a track in Belgium. Good evening everybody and welcome to the 6th race of the Bavarian Racing Challenge 1976 edition. This is Normal Vakas speaking here and I think we had some kind of Finnish interference. Anyway, there is a lot of other people here so just present yourselves. Hello there guys, it's the Finnish Pirlix here. Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Kay Leonardo. And some other presenter who is currently not here because he's stuck in traffic maybe. We of don't course. know. Anyway, uh, this is the sixth race of the championship and as a finish in some said, uh, we are racing on Spa Francochamp. So, Roland, did you fetch some information from oh, Wikipedia it's, it's, this it's time? It's so hard with Wikipedia these days. It's, you know, finding all the data almost impossible. Yeah, back. And so here the, it's come. There is the Present man yourself. from the traffic. Present yourself. Present yourself. Hello, I'm Leo. Okay. Hi. So, um, Spa Francor Champs. Uh, that is a track in Belgium. Who would have guessed? Um, we are arriving on oh, the we are 19th. Not in Germany this time. No, not in Germany. That's that. That's the one track. Finally. The only track not in Germany. Um, that's the old 14 kilometer layout we're arriving on today. It has, I think, around 14 corners and. Uh, I don't really know, I don't have the Wikipedia page open, but I think it's 14 kilometers long, has 14 corners or so. But as you can see, a lot of full throttle straight straight line action. So we will see the very fast cars being ultra fast this day. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about my diesel car. Yeah, it's a diesel, it will be slow anyways. Mm, indeed. So, but also we have a, t a test lap driven can by the Schnell racing team. Some, some say, say. <laughs> uh, some say he's a tame racing driver, but all we know is he's called the Bavarian. I guess we started a little further down the road than uh, the front stretch. Yeah, it's a bit further down the road, but as you can see, um, it's a very fast track already. Yeah, the engine is pushing, you know, it's accelerating a little bit, but them said it's fast. A couple of places where it looks really easy to just overdrive the corner and get some oversteer. It's very it's easily possible. I can't tell, yeah, I can't the, tell uh, you on which uh, part of the track we are now, because I think that's the master straight now, already. And as you can see, we are hitting the speed limiter already. Went in the high gear just before the lift. Now this is the this master is the kink. kink. Now coming on the hollow well straight. Right back to full throttle. As the advanced safety technology along the racing barrier just blows past it, nearly 300 kilometers an hour. We are reaching very, very sp fast speeds on this part of the track. Especially in the Master Street, we can see speeds of over 300 kilometers per hour on some cars. Possibly. You can see using the entirety of the racing surface to straighten the corners out even more and keep those RPMs up. There's actually a lot of room on this track. You could easily go three wide in some places. Easily, yeah. Ooh, a little bit of grass. Oh, there was a little oh. bit of uh, slip in the rear. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see some of that out of our turbocharged competitors today. As you can see, most of the track is actually on normal country roads. It's not a special racetrack. It's basically people living there, like mm, racetrack passing by. Isn't that like f extremely fun? I wonder if they've named any of the corners after the people that live there. Maybe we'll have old lady's house somewhere. Like there, that's old lady's house. Ah, all the brakes squeal this here. Is the apex of that one. This also, is your name here. Yeah, the, the U name here. Now we come, the knot isn't straight. And something looped in the video because uh, we started at the later point because the cameras were balked. Uh, 
This is behind the Eau Rouge. What a lovely corner. Yes, indeed. Now we are com um, coming up to the Le Combes, I think. Yes, we this go. is where the modern track and this track diverge. Indeed. Now comes uh, Haute de la Cote, how it's called in uh, French. To be pedant, uh, Eau Rouge isn't the, the uphill climb. Eau Rouge is the little left kink, and the Eau Rouge, the, oh. sorry, the, the climb thing, the left corner on the going up is Hadion. But that's just pedant. Okay, Everyone called it Eau Rouge. Now we are behind Burnonville, coming into Malmedy. And Ooh. we are again almost back on the master straight, and that's where we started the whole thing. It's a hard track. So it's as you can see, it's, drive on. it is a really fast track. It is a really fast track. It's a hard track too. It's um, you could say it's something like the Nordschleife, but with less mm -hmm. corners. Yeah, it has less uh, both, corners. Uh, both street circuits, with which were just closed racing occasionally so mm -hmm. the origins are pretty much the same indeed indeed they mm -hmm. are but it's time <clears throat> to look at the uh, qualification results and um oh yeah. yeah here they are and we can see there's one guy being at the 357 wow. 22. wow we have troller coaster in first place with three minutes 57 and 22 well two seconds in front of the Bob Wild in second Wild. place, closely, closely followed by followed Leo 9613, closely, very closely followed by the Holder Automotive, and then in fifth place we have Merat at four minutes and twenty-two. Then close behind we have Absalus at four minutes zero seconds and forty-eight. Then comes Metaman two with a slightly bigger gap at four minutes one second and oh five. And at eighth place we have Air Jordan at four minutes one second and seventy-four. Then almost half a second behind we have Marcus 817 and again half a second behind there is Puffster at 10th place. Then only a few tenths of a second behind we've got Critical Scent uh, set 9849, we've got Squidhead a full second back almost. Maddie in 13th again just a few tenths, Stenson two hundredths of a second back and then myself starting the 404 bracket in 15th. The not found bracket of course. And um, yeah, let's take a look at the Tom Tom cars because um, we had a change here. I think I think Troller Coaster wa was yeah Troller Coaster. It's I think his first podium. No, I well, think as podium yes, but probably we already see him in the top ten for the qualification. I mean, uh, yes, sure, but yes. not in the top tens. Like in the hey, in at the least first he'll place. have a clear shot to pit road on the first lap when he needs to refuel. <laughs> We have. He will. He will come to the pits very often, indeed. Maybe every lap. But yeah, let, let's see what differences are. What makes his car superior to the Bob Wiley? And I think it's the power. It, I want to say it's pretty obvious. It's almost uh, yeah. It's seventy horsepower more. Crude power. And two hundred thirty no, yes. torques more. Torques means nothing. Well. <laughs> Come they on. Don't. <laughs> but he has Let's more not talks. start this debate. <laughs> you know, talks is everything. Talks is what you want. I think, I think Kill Rob made a video about this. Yes, yes. A, a very long I will video. defer to his explanation. If you want to know more about talks, go to Kill Rob's video. He explains you everything about talks and how they, how they started and how they exist and how they were One born. One thing he doesn't explain is how talk pretty much is the standard measurement for every single um, engineering decision in a gearbox or engine or drive shaft or whatever. This is true. But anyway. Talks just means how the power is developed. Yeah. Like you can mm. have one talk at 9 million RPM and uh, that's pretty much fun, but you have to rev, 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 like a maniac. Like a maniac. Nah, not really. Torque is more like the force that the, the engine makes and power is the energy it's giving out. To increase the speed, you need energy, not not force. Yeah. But to get going, you need force. So that's about it. Torx. Anyway, we shouldn't start this discussion. It's boring. 
because mm, people yes. will leave now. So um, we also have Merritt at fifth place, which means like, as you can see, he has 487 horsepower and he is in front of Absurdus and Metamon 2, who have more power than him. Well, as with okay. everything, it's not only power, it's also weight and handling. And we've seen Absolutely throughout the correct. season that Merat just, he's able to get out in front and drive away. He's got about 100 kilograms less on both of the, you know, top two competitors. So he's a little bit better through the corners. The difficulty, I think, is also much lower. Indeed. Or next that, it's at, it's at two, actually. Or no, I'm looking at the wrong person. That's Matt MR too. <laughs> yeah, his his difficulty, <laughs> his his difficulty, um, his difficulty is at 1.6, which is the same as Bob Wiley. He weighs about the same as Bob Wiley. So just ignore everything I said because I was looking at the wrong gray car. No problem, no problem. But yeah, I think that's enough of the blah blah. We should just jump into the race, start, and see what will happen, shouldn't we? Of course, pressing the magic button again. Here's your lineup as we speedily go through as, it. As always. And, um, <laughs> Who needs to know who's in 40th? I don't know. It's interesting to see. And we have red lights everywhere. And uh, is it on? Isn't it on? We don't know. It is on. The race is, is on. on? <laughs> and they're off. I feel really bad for the people starting all the way back behind that first kink at the top of the track. Yes, they have to drive a lot. They need to do it one more time than everybody else. Indeed. Look how slow they are moving. Well, the track... Look how far back Troller Coaster fell off the line. He was back to 8th place. But he's going forward. Now going he's around. going back and now he's first again. <laughs> he's back <laughs> into first. 300 km per hour. Almost 300. Can you say turbo lag? Yes. I mean, look at his torque curve. We had a look back then, and the, the torque curve is like nothing, 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 nothing in power. Look at the fuel tank. Which fuel? It's just going. Nom, nom, nom. nom. And He's nom. already burned about 8 kilograms of fuel. And we it haven't even straight. hit straight yet. <laughs> and the race hasn't even started properly. But here we come, approaching the Master Straight. Most of these cars are already close to their top speed. Yes, now comes, now Troller Coaster is on the Master Straight, exactly on this moment. And reaching 310, 300, 320 km per hour. 200 miles per hour out of 330. 30. It's so it's fast. still going. It's 333. 3 oh, and he fails. Down to 200 to hit the king before he gets back on the loud pedal to open up the taps once more. And he's already approaching top speed again. Meanwhile, Wait a second. the other cars didn't go past 280. His car is the Diavol 666 and he reached 333 horsepower. Does it mean that half like three is confirmed? And gentlemen, he's already burned 20 kilograms of fuel at the end of the long straightaway. Holy damn. And Leo is at third place closely, very closely behind the Bob Wiley. Yeah. A lot of cars are just run straight with the accelerator full down and hitting the top speed and stuck there. Incredible. You can see where the, the winners and losers are on that straight. If you look at cars, um, yes. especially looking at the arrows, like for example, uh, my car picked up five spots, Squidhead dropped six down in 18th, Agnew picked up five up to 25th, and then down a little further, CW Rules dropped three, AK Ammo dropped nine. But that's all gonna shuffle up again as we're getting into the kinks and the tight corners by the start and finish uh, line. Also, what we can see here, what we will see here, is the clash of the strategies. I think, because this, in my opinion, this track has almost nowhere on tires. Because, like, look, look how many corners we have. Hmm. Yeah, it's a matter of how much fuel you use and how long you can. Yes. Keep can go. I planned. I hope. I hope that I can make it without any stop. I'm running wow. a zero stop strategy. 
My hope is I can get four laps out of it. <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> I think... I think my Look, end... Trawler Cross is going for another lap! Wow! He He's still in the rankings! He only burned 30 on the opening lap, guys. It'll be fine. Less than Holy half of the tank, so you will be able to... He should be able to do another lap, but... Seven damn. seconds of gap. Yeah. And then look at the field behind him. I mean, it's pretty bunched up in that first couple of positions. Yeah, it's like the, uh, Leo on second, Bob Wiley on third, Harlow Demut on fourth, Merat on fifth, and then comes a two second gap to Madame Atu already. Except for Troller Coaster that is not really running for the first place due to his cause of this placement during the rest of the season. We have to take a close look between Howler Automotive and Merad because there's yes. just one point between them. Also, Leo, Bob Wiley, both are really into the top five, and we have to take a close look to them. And even Air Jordan has been sneaking into the top of the results mm -hmm. over the course of the last part of the season, and he's not that far behind, and he's currently running at seven. Well, after a, a long lap here at uh, Spa, perhaps auto scroll is in order. He is going 335 already. 336. Because now it's lighter. There is no much fuel indeed, left. Indeed, indeed. So. And time for the auto scroll. What's amazing though is that he's over 200 miles per hour. We're talking 330 kilometers, and, and you've got people further back, 270s, 280s, some in the 250s. Uh, they're just getting annihilated at a track like this. My car just did 295. Wow, must be drafting so hard. It, it's, it's, 295? It's, it's somewhere in the, in the bunch. I think it's drafting a lot. It's worth noting that Absurdis, which usually is one of the top, is in the top five. He's no, not even in the top ten this time. Indeed, and the American he... car, the American car is on tenth. Yes, indeed. Absurdis is on fourteenth place and dropping. Also, Troller Coaster has an eleven second gap or eleven seconds. We Hold usually on. get complaints that we don't talk about people on the back, so we must say that Nerd is on last place. It's about the six behind right Warlord. behind Warlords. Look at them six running 224. Behind. They are running max speed all the time. They just can run open throttle. And so for happens. you people who complain that we don't talk about the last place people, there you go. So now we, we can talk about anyway. the diesel car. It's in 35th place. We can talk yes. about it. <laughs> Look at it. it's <laughs> but if we do fun. look back down the field a little ways there, uh, there's a lot of battling going on in the mid-pack, in the uh, higher 20s, the low 30s. Uh, there was one before the auto scroll kind of took it away from me here. I think 8BS and CW Rules maybe were in a fight. Uh, there was and one that was going back and forth. Refueling. Yes. Oh. This will be interesting. How long will it take? The gap was 11 seconds at the last scoring line. The refueling will take 20 seconds. Fastest lap. He was in the pits and he still had the fastest lap. So. Wow. Still, think about you, how much time it takes to fill the tank. It's, I think it's more than 10 seconds. So. Well, at 2 seconds per kilogram. And out of the pits now, on. 23 seconds pit stop. seconds, so... At plus 10 seconds each for get, getting into the pits and out of the pits, so he's having 40 seconds lost. He came back in... Oh, down. oh dear. Oh, oh, very, very low. Yeah. He's How not many in 24th, will he pass in the first not in 25th. That's the question. By the, by the time we figure out where he came out, he will have already passed 10 cars. <laughs> of course. Oh, he's on 25th. He was on 28th. 25th. <laughs> he's not getting passed. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> alright. Let me pass. Ah, I passed him. Oh, I passed him. Oh, I passed him. Oh, fuck. He's going fast. 200. 220. 230. Oh, my gosh. Yes, he is recovering. You can Getting see him. Yeah, here's you the can, question. You can see him on the map. See this the small cross at uh, number seven. Mm -hmm. That's him. Yeah. Now here, here's the thing though. He was very fast out on his own at the front of the pack, and we've seen this race after race after race. When he gets in traffic, he cannot make up ground. 
Now, might be different here with these giant straightaways, exactly. but I want to see if his lap times fall off significantly with traffic. Could be, but couldn't be. Like, it, it could be a gamble now. Since he now is in the traffic, he can Ooh, use well, a bit of drafting. Now, the thing is, between Merat and Haller Automotive, look at the top speed. Yes! Merat is faster. Merat is faster. It's mostly, ooh, they start to break in the same exact moment. They are close by... Trotter cost on 18 already. <laughs> 17. Yes. The Bob Wiley really needs to close the gap between those two cars before they get too far away. If he loses the draft, he's going to fall back into the hands of Matt MR2, Air Jordan, and uh, well, there's a, then there's a pretty big gap back to seventh place, which is my car. So they need to, um, he needs to kind of bunch up because once they get away, he's just going to start dropping back further and further. And Leo is the first place, Holland was second, and Amarat third. Very interesting. It will be an interesting race on the top three, I have to say, with, the, with those tiny gaps. There's a pretty good fight going on for 10th <clears> by the looks of it. Maddie and... I and uh, the one who scrolled was. away. Yeah. Uh, they've been fighting back and forth for that 10th place position. Troll 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 10th! <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think it was him. About. No, it was not Troller Coaster. <laughs> Uh, so much for keeping track of that battle, but they were swapping back and forth, going down the long straightaways and out these twisty corners. And the Bob Wiley is pitting after four. And laps. my car isn't. Yes. Matt MR2, Matt MR2 also is, is pitting pit as well. It's Viran, by the way. Maddie and Viran are fighting back and forth. And contact hand. between Absurdus and Squidhead. <laughs> Why, and guys? And both of them in the pit. <laughs> it's like they wanted to join the pits together. Pit road? How low the motive is on first place now. He didn't pit, however. Matt Emma 2 Absurdist and the Bob Wiley. They well, were pitting. The Bob okay, to sorry. Pass yep. Norman Roxhall. Place 35. Your car is not slow. fast enough for this track. Hmm? It's not fast enough, your car. Yeah, I know. Efficient. Efficiency helps a lot, but oh, Troll Corso dropped to 11th place. Those corners are not nice for him. No, but now we're in Troller Coaster territory. Yes, now we are back on the on the corner on the how's it called the Burnville. So that's starting to be his territory. Now he's 20 seconds behind, so he's made up, what, half of his deficit already? But he uh, needs to pit, uh, what, this lap? Yeah, this lap he has to pit. This lap so, he has to pit, so he will drop so Unless again. he could squeeze out 30 seconds of... But I don't think he but will But he is on to. the master straight, he is on the master straight now. He's 8th already. And he's getting on Puffster. He'll probably blow by with no problem. Oops. I'm not Problems. looking at anything at the moment. Fixing it, fixing it. So, Troikosa didn't pass uh, Puffster yet. He is still behind him. The gap to, gap to Puffster seems to be really big. He cannot he cannot pass him yet. Of course, if Puffster's Even. in a draft, it could be making it difficult for Troll yes, to overpower him. But talking about that, he just passed him, and he's now taking on you, Kyle. Yeah, I'm not going to even be able to hold him up. Although we're getting into some corners soon. Well, obviously he has to refuel, so... Um... That's true. Yeah. He's also six seconds behind me, so he'd have to close that before getting to pit road. Well, look at it. He's driving 300 while you're driving 250. Eh, you know, who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> His speed is incredible. It's just pure acceleration. Oh dear, I just noted. Absurd is <laughs> his 39th place. Fuck. He had a very strong season so far, but not today. 
Well, this don't forget, he's already like pitted. Leo and Howler Automotive both pitting in this very moment. And is giving Merat way for the first place. Yes. We should he's see how fast he's going now. Mm. Yes, pretty much, but we should see how fast he's going. Troll across and pits. I don't think it's going to be so slow that you can catch up easily. Well, if he doesn't catch up, he needs mustard. Indeed. Or my own music. That joke was so bad. <laughs> I it was so bad I almost fell asleep. Did you? Damn! Crash between Matt and Ma Matt oh. Mark II and, and Steel. steel. Crushing Steel. That's pretty much it for Matt Mark II. He has to go to the repairs now. So, the leaders, yeah. we should say, uh, Howler Automotive came between 10th and 15th, way ahead of Leo, my car, which was 17th, and we are both well ahead of the Bob Wiley who had stopped before. Trollercoaster so... came out of the pits on 31st place, but he's now on 29th already. <laughs> I, can, I cannot keep track of him, he's just going way too fast. He's going up, down. Alright, so let's watch Marat here as he goes down the Master Straight. He's at 281 kilometers. Air Jordan is at 290. He doesn't have draft, but I think Smerat is quite fast anyway. Don't remind you, the Master Straight is slightly downhill. Downhill, of course, but look at this. 275, 278. I don't see very big problem. He has a really fast car indeed. But also looking at his fuel, he will be out and out this lap for a long time, as will be Air Jordan. Mm -hmm. All the natural aspirated cars will have a good, uh, good fuel efficiency for this. Yes, indeed. Track. Also, Kylenado will stay out for a long time. He still has 30 kilograms of fuel left. Yeah, I talked with my race engineer beforehand, and uh, we're going with the Air Jordan strategy. We're shooting for a one-stop race. Oh. I probably could have set my car to do not change the tires, but they have all the time because they have to fill the tank up, so yeah, I don't think it's a big problem. Yeah, if, you, if you're taking 20 kilograms worth of fuel, it's foolish then not you, to Then you already it. can change yeah, tires indeed. for free, basically. Howl Automotive is on 11th place. With a 5 second gap to Frankenstein. Well, now he'll be able to make up time. I mean, you have to remember, that there's not a lot of good overtaking opportunities. There's no braking zones or anything like that. So unless you just have sheer brute force like Troller Coaster. You're gonna Who's have a hard back? time getting around people here. Who's back on 22 already? 21. It's going to be a roller coaster for him. It will be. Again, we apologize for the nature of the jokes on this stream. Yes. Yeah. The jokes are not good, but you know, sometimes they have to be bad. To be good. <laughs> And Puffster is in pits, as is Mr. Chips and Cool K. It's interesting, on this track, when people go into pits, they drop, drop, drop a lot. Which puts, obviously, Trollercoaster back into place 15, I think? No? I'm looking through the field here, and the gaps that we're seeing are just mind-boggling at this point. Once you're out of the 30s, you're, everybody is over a minute behind the leader. Yeah, but the lap on this track, look at Marat, he's driving 342s. He is running, indeed, he is running faster than Air Jordan. But interesting will be, will, uh, will you, Kyle, will your car get ahead of Air Jordan or not? I think I could catch him in the draft, but I do believe Air Jordan's car, <clears throat> uh, by design, is a few tenths faster than mine. Also talking about people in the back, Nerd has been lapped. 
Mm. The first car to be left. And my car, front wheel driven, is on place 15. Wow. And the diesel is at 28. 191 top speed you had in this moment. That's a lot. The pickup is on place number 38. Which pickup? The from microwave, the rear engine pickup. Oh. Okay. Absurdist is up to 26th position after his earlier scuffle and pit stop. Uh, Kulke had to pit so and he's down to the 29th, but he, oh, he just overtook okay. the double voxel. Critical you set is in 30th. He had a good start to the day. And Der Bayer in 33rd, usually up a little higher. Wow, than yes, he usually is in the in the, tw in the top 15-ish region. The I troll too, is back in, in 11th. And so far, no driving errors by B-Boy. He had one, just one minute ago. Driver Did error. Sorry. Oh, there it is. But at the end, they changed the driver, they replaced that the Japanese driver with someone with more sense in their head, so... Yeah, helps a lot. The After the a... mutiny by the pit crew that got tired of fixing cars that got drifted in the walls. <laughs> Some say the new driver from P-Boy is a German. The one guy who retired from Formula 1 not long ago. So fast. Yeah, he wants to give uh, the BRC a, a shot, you know, independent racing. And some say the car still runs in the 50s. Pro only proving that he only won the championship because he had the fastest car. <laughs> it's all and, about it. And it started to rain. Yes, a slight drizzle oh. is happening. It was quite unexpected, I have to say. Just in time for me to catch Air Jordan for a second. You are still half a second behind, but looking at the lap times, you are running faster than him. I don't know if I'm still a half second behind just because of how much the uh, difference is between all the scoring lines. About half second. So, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm right there. Your but last what, lap what is running? faster. Yeah, the draft will do that for you. My last lap was the fastest of... Now you guys coming anybody. on the master straight. You are now on the master straight, right behind Air Jordan. Now, I think he has just a little bit more top end than I do, so he'll be able to pull away by the end of the straight. Mm, seems so. Yeah, five kilometers, like three kilometers difference. Right, now, and that's with me having the benefit of his drag. Because he's definitely too far back to be getting any benefit out of Marat, who's full ten seconds ahead of both of us. Problem is, you have to refuel much sooner than he has to do. Mm, yes. Looking at the refueling, who has to refuel next? It's Matty. It's uh, you. It's Squidhead. It's CW Rules. Wow, I have to say, it's the buyer is on 29th place. Seeing him that far down is uncommon. Mm -hmm. Well, you can just tell uh, the choices that people made when building their cars. You knew that there were going to be tracks like this, and Hockenheim, and even to an extent, you know, the, uh, the Nurburgring, where you have these long straightaways. And, but then you have these tiny little airfield tracks, so do you say you're gearing up for that rapid acceleration, or do you want to give yourself some top end? Or do both and get the 600 horsepower engine. And you yeah. can stop every other lap. Refueling is a different issue, but uh, you can see, see yeah. how much power helps a lot. Don't worry about the, the metric tons of, of fuel that will be burned by that one car. I think he, after, after this race he has burned again half a ton of fuel. Which is extreme. I believe I will be... I passed Air Jordan, but Yay. I think I'm going to be pitting. You will be pitting sometime soon, yes. Also looking at Merat, he's losing time now. His tires are getting quite worn. He's got 15 in the rear, 11 on the front. He's chilling him up. Halotomotive is faster than him, but uh, 
for how long. Looking at the fuel of both, uh, Merat has to pit soon, but so has to has Howl Automotive. So, in the end, they will be neck and neck. Now, Howl yeah. Automotive's already stopped once, so. I don't know if they'll be neck and neck. It really depends on how many four stops are there going to be and how will Howard Automotive be able to catch up. Yeah, because we're just. Uh, he's just one second left faster. He, it's not fast enough. Catch up. I mean, that's. He, he may be in fourth, but I mean, there's still oh, a 20 the second. Yeah. touched the barrier. 40% of damage. Eh, just, oh. a, just a touch. Just a touch. The buff out. What the fuck is happening on place number 10? Yeah, you haven't pit it, that's it. <laughs> I won't pit. Look at the remaining fuel. Yeah, I, I I will go on and on and on and on and on. You've got three quarters of a tank left. Although your tires will probably betray you before your fuel tank does. You've already got 13% wear on the front. But look at the best lap and the last lap. It's, well, it's a second slower, but I'm, uh, I'm losing on the, on the pit stop. I'm losing 40 seconds and make the math. My last lap was the fastest one, so good. That nice. Be happy for you. And if you do the math, it's not worth to do a pit stop for so I gain like one second per lap again, but wasting 40 seconds at all in, in total. And then now when we're only running 15, that's for certain. Indeed. There's still a slight, slight rain. It's not really. Giving the, any the, trouble at the moment. Yeah, the, the, is, the, 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 the track is slightly damp. It's not really wet. It's just like you're not slipping around like on ice. But yeah, even because the racing line is quite dry, still a little moist. Now, interestingly enough, since my car has been able to get past Air Jordan, we've actually started to close the gap onto Merak. Uh, whereas it was over 10 seconds, now I have it down to just about 9.3. Now, I do believe I have to pit this lap without a doubt. Yeah. Uh, yes, you have but to. But we were gaining. So that makes me wonder if we're faster with Air Jordan pushing. But look at you, after the pit stop, you will be dropping to place 9 or 10. You will be either close in front of me or close behind me. I'm going to guess I'll be in 10th after the pit stop. Rough Epstein. I'm talking about the pits, you're entering them now. Pitting, yes. Take a full tank of fuel, fresh tires, some yeah, crumpets, to go. a cup of tea, and then... some biscuits. No, you mean that would be donuts and coffee. Yeah, True, sure. it's American, True. it's donuts. Sure. Howler, Howler Automotive She's came in behind. Her. Oh, Howler is pitting as well. And Leo is pitting. And so, was, no, Trollocos is somewhere in the back because he slipped. So that's going to bring Viran up into third place. He was fighting with um, Marcus, I think. Or no, I'm forgetting who he was fighting with. But he was fighting for 10th earlier. He's now up to third. Team. Marcus is behind him in fourth. Frankenstein in fifth. I come out of the pits in sixth. And... Felix, it looks like you will actually pass Howard Automotive and Leo and come out seventh. Puffster, that's who uh, Viran was fighting with for tenth. So now Viran in third and Puffster in ninth. A little bit of a divergence there. I don't know why, but I'm picturing like Pirlix cars, like the old guy in the car run around, not fitting, just slowly getting ahead, not fitting. He's got the cruise control on, the eight tracks playing, window down, he's enjoying a smoke. Yeah, you it's know, fine. hand off to the window, just with the sunglasses on. Yes. The elbow out of the window, mm -hmm. I'm driving with a hand, nothing else. Like, yeah, like whatever. proper leisure driving, like, not yes. in a hurry, dr driving out the car a bit, but not like, like driving like a madman. Now, we, we're talking about how Howler Automotive has made his way back into the top 10, and now he's just made a second pit stop. But where in the world did Bob Wiley go? And to answer that question, it's 28. The Bob wow. Wiley is behind the pickup truck of Microwave, behind Absurdist, behind Ticonderoga, uh, and he's running in the low 20s. 
that because he had to pit and repair the car, right? He yes. was the one that had the big. Sp Ooh, Ooh Robert the Fiend. Fiend. Error. Big, big crash. Spin. Big. Yeah. I'm not think <clears throat> we're going to see any. Lord Red, Safety his car, car is on 34th. Lord Red? I can remember his car being in wow. the first races, being a top 30, top 20 material. On this race, yeah, it was 44. really close. Usually, Lord Red was very close to mm, the diesel car. Yes. As performance. What happened? The, the, the lore-friendly the lore Lord Red is not very friendly with Spa. Spa is not friendly with a lot of people. The only issue with my okay. car is front wheel driven. This cool. race is back up to 14th, along with Madame R2 and 15. Hmm? But what we can see is Merat. I think. What What do you think? Will he pit now, or will he pit next lap? Uh, he has 10 kilos left. I'm going I to wait for him to round the corner, so I don't have to guess. I think he will stay up for another lap. Yes. So will uh, Jordan then? Yes. No. Our Jordan is oh, uh, Jordan is oh, no. So uh, Jordan drinks more fuel than Marat, or Marat drinks the same fuel as a Jordan, but he has the higher Or Air fuel Jordan left. just scheduled it specifically could to be, could uh, be. stop at the 10 lap mark. And maybe Marat's just running it until the algorithm says you must pit. And amazingly, though, he's, he's staying out front and he's running decent lap times. He ran a 3.45. And he's got 20% tire wear on the rear, 14 yes. on the front. If we look back at my car, my car ran a 345, two tenths of a slow, uh, two tenths of a second slower, and I'm running with barely any wear. Different tire, different camber settings, and different uh, pad settings. Also, if I'm reading this correctly, I ran a 420 last lap. But the thing on this, tr on this track is like having a car with a slow top speed. That's that's what will break your neck. It's the first time probably that I, that I see AKM with low tire wear. <laughs> Indeed. Does that mean he actually stopped? He has almost a full tank of fuel, right? He must have stopped and remembered to take tires. The it's only taken five races. Good for him, he has to figure out what, what was the problem in the logistic. Uh, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Okay, Madame R2, the Bob Wiley and Absurd is all stopping currently. Yeah, uh, like the car, Henry GT5, number 40, a car on the place 48. He has a top speed of 240. That doesn't help on these straights. No, no it does not. Also, Lord Red, he's driving 215, 216, he doesn't seem to get any faster. Well, it's what happens when you're running with production engines and, you know, just going for a couple of tweaks here and there. You, I, it, it's impressive, the engineering that, uh, that that engineering group is able to, I have to, to say, produce the diesel, here. But... The diesel is running fairly fast, 250 or a 2 in the exit of the okay. corner. Mm. It's enough to not get lost. 258, 259, 260. 260. 261. 63. 4. Diesel power. It was a song. 5 too. before I lost it. But anyway, I have to say the Pirli, the, the front wheel drive car at the moment, is the most marvelous result at the moment. It's because like, wow. it drinks no fuel. I, I don't it have runs to pit. On air. I don't have to pit, so uh, I will I will win for every guy that pits. Of course, it's nowhere near as dominant. Merat going in the pits right now. Oh, um, I don't. Sorry. To, to, no, to, to, to finish my sentence, I was going to say it's nowhere near as dominant as 1966, uh, where the car just annihilated everybody. Yeah. But I think Perlix, the front wheel drive car, couldn't be able to get very much. No, oh, yeah, well, looking at the gap you have, no, you no, could, no, I, yeah, I won't gain. you could reach, you could have some more, I don't know. 
The Kai's here's a good, question. The, the Will Merak actually... get on the track before second place catches? He oh, is he... getting on the track before second place catches. So there, so he had a 43 second gap before Air Jordan made it to the start finish line. So he's on fresh tires, he's got a lighter fuel load. And he had a really, really fast stop, 17.6 seconds. Frankenstein, Marcus 817 pitting, now overtaken by the front with drive guard that is now in fifth place. Pafters also is in the pit. Along with Frankenstein. Troller course also back into the pits. Reason in the pit, Cool K in the pit. The Troller coaster is up almost into the top 10 again. The car is Norman Boxel also is in the pit. As planned. Diesel has to take some fuel at some point yeah. too. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did all the calculation possible. There is no way to do the car, the, the, the whole race without pitting if I couldn't change like any kind of setup of the driving or pushing or something like that. As I it may, is at the moment. There was I no may chance. or may not have to do an emergency pit stop. I don't know. Mm. Now going back to the leaders here, so Mara had a 43 second gap when he went into the pits. He comes out with an 11.3 second gap. Wow. So he, his pit stop was either abnormally fast or he just had an even bigger gap when he went into the pits than uh, the scoring sheet provides since we only have three sectors to work with here. Uh, but that was, he, he's his basically going to run incredible. away. Here. Now, of course, we've been saying this all season long. Uh, Mara has a relatively low, actually not even relatively low, a, a low reliability on his car, his engine, I should say. His reliability is 19.1. Yes. And if it was going to blow up anywhere, you would think it would be on the master straight here. Here. Are you pressing the button? Here. <laughs> 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 right there. Right now. <laughs> and not he's not doing anything. <sighs> oh, right. Martin's not here. Damn it. <laughs> to be fair, I have to say I'm happy that Merit is not exploding. Yeah. Because what? if you. To be, well, imagine if he explodes now, he will not get any points and he will pretty much fall down the leaderboard. What's the sad part in that? Well, there will be no challenging anymore between Hallerot. It's like, oh, okay, that guy like now BRC has a lot. It's like BRC 66. Yes. Where's the sad well. part in that again? I'm still fine, waiting to find <laughs> something sad about it. <laughs> but but here's, here's the thing to remember. Nothing says that Haller Automotive is going to have a perfect season. I mean, you know, this is motor racing. The engine not could blow boat, up like Not boat here. racing? I thought it's boat racing. Oh, there are cars? Yes. Ooh, Matty. Error, big spin and... The damage that needs to be repaired soon at the pit. Now, he was on the move. He was up three positions from the last scoring sector. He was, he's running in 10th place. But, uh, yeah, that damage is not going to be friendly. Luckily, he's close to the pit, so if he's within his threshold to stop, he should be able to get that taken care of and only lose, you know, minor position. I really hope for him to get in the pit. Yes, he's pitting. Yeah. The Bob Wiley up to 27th, he's picked up five positions. Damn, but the Bob Wiley is so far down. Ticondro dropped 10 spots. For some reason, did he just pit or Probably. microwave two also dropped seven spots? It's so hard to see where the battles are. I think there's actually mm -hmm. a close one for 40th or four, not 39. I couldn't even catch the names, I was looking at the gaps. Um, just the gaps here are so big and the, the scoring lines are so infrequent, it's hard just by looking at the scroll to determine. The roller coaster is back on well, he was back on 15, but he dropped to 17 again and 16th and 15th. Must be a straight somewhere. Yeah, whenever he rises, there must be a straight. But whenever he drops, there must be a corner. 
Some some names at the top. Stenson in 11th, Ballast McKenzie in 12th, Mr. Chips in 13th, Agnew in 14th before Troller Coaster, Rizzo in 17th, Cool Keys up to 18th again. We've got a couple of names that you don't usually see in the top 20 have made their appearance. It's nice to see some diversity thanks to a track like this. I agree with you. It is weird, though, to see cars like Derby or CW Rules or Certus uh, down in the Bob low Wiley. 20s. They are so far down. He's been fighting this whole race. He's just dropped nine positions. Uh, he's hit. That's why. Um, and it, it, you thought that he was going to be able to challenge for the lead here. He, he had a, a fast car in qualifying, but... And Haller Automotive uh, was able to climb back through the ranks, but the Bob Wiley, no such luck. Nothing to say. Well, an important lesson, but I think we saw this since the, third, the first race is a balanced car could be better than an extreme car, but I don't think this is like not a big secret. We can see it on the example of Troller Coaster. Making an extreme accelerating car may help you for the first 10 minutes of the race. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, but we run 200 kilometers <coughs> here. That's that's just not enough. Then we have cars like uh, jo uh, Jordan is a nice example. He's using sports compound tires and an NA engine. Look where he is. Yep. Also look at Kyle Leonardo. He's also using sports compound. Well, uh, Smooth may be my car builder this Other season. automotive is bitting. And Leo, I think, is following Oh, immediately after. Yes, Two he laps to go two. and you guys pit. Oh, yeah. and Pirlix now could overtake both of you. Oh, I'm not fast enough. You're, but you're close gap. enough. You're close enough. The gap is enough. I think you it's should like that. see. I can't and the believe it. Pirlix, take a screenshot. I can't believe it. For the first time since 1966, the front-wheel drive wonder is top five of the BRC. It's there, you just back. need that little segment of video. Put it on your channel. <laughs> I'll screenshot it, print it out, and put it on my wall. <laughs> Let's look at the lap times here. Matt's running away with it. He just ran his best lap of the race. He just ran his best lap of the race with 6% in moisture on the track, and we're 13 laps into the thing at a 341.90. Now that puts him ahead of the next competition, Air Jordan running a 343.84 in second. Myself, Kay Leonardo running a 343.42, just a little bit faster in third. And Prilix is running a 350.4 in fourth, ahead of Frankenstein running a 346.69 in fifth. Marcus 817 running a 34608 in sixth. Biran in seventh running a 34708. Haller Automotive running a 34538 in eighth. Leo right behind running a 34507 in ninth. And Puffster rounding out the top ten running a 34652. Also his best lap of the race right there. The moisture on the truck seems getting a little more annoying. Yes, it's, uh, it's gaining slowly, it's gaining. creeping slowly. It's getting a bit more moist. Are we going to see last lap tire changes? Hope not. Well, it probably is worth it if it gets really wet because the lap is so long. It's, it's almost what, nine What would miles. be interesting will be the notch schleife because we know the rain will keep up, uh, start to uh, start mm -hmm. to start in the middle of the race, and um, imagine you just pass the racing line, the, the, the cross uh, the pit line and it starts to rain you stop the car put in reverse and get in the pit yeah but you know the north life is so big that parts of the track can be can have rain yep. and some parts ca cannot so you go on the pit train oh it's raining let's pull over and then you turn two corners and it's a bright sunshine if only robot worked like that yeah no just yeah it's programming awesome. hell <laughs> <laughs> There's there's a there's a typhoon in the carousel, but but the start finish line bone dry. Eleven percent of humidity on the track. Picking up twelve now. Twelve now. Oh, 
So unless something catastrophic happens. A tsunami. Enjoy this amount of water anyway. The, the Lord Red is running a four minute lap. Four minutes and three seconds. And that's his best lap of the race, by the way. That's... Just like, uh, I have to say, it him. is it is slow. Unless you're that guy, if you're Lord Ridge driver, it felt really damn fast. Running your fastest lap of the race for a respectable 46th finish today. Here at Spa, if things hold true. Roland is back in sixth place, overtaken so by Marcus. I will Hickman. drop because look at my tires. Yeah, they eight don't seconds a lap. They don't exist anymore. Yeah, you're, you're eight yeah. seconds a lap slower at this point than your, your competitors. Yeah. Seventh place now. And he'll probably be overtaken by Howler and Deep. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think you might be able to come home in eighth, though. I don't know if Leo can catch you. It's just 15 seconds. I don't know. But there's only two laps left, not even. Yeah, nice. Uh... I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking for our leader. There he is. He's getting down to the end of the, um, the second straightaway there, after the master straight. Exactly straightaway. when the car can blow up the engine. Right! Blow yeah. up the engine. Ah! Blow up the engine. <laughs> Miss a downshift. <laughs> Clonk. Probably the, the, the remote control, it doesn't. it's too far away. We have to it's wait not until it's Maybe it's unconnected. <laughs> I've got to wait for the, the top point of the track here. We have to wait until it comes close to us. Yes. So. Sabotage Marat, pass Air Jordan, profit. Yes. Because we received the money from Aller Automotive, so we have to make the car blow up. <laughs> really looking for some battles here. It's just so hard to find cars it's... close to each other. It looks exciting like a Formula One car race. It's like... <laughs> Very much so. Oh, Troller Coaster, he's in back. He's in the middle say, Troller of the back. Coaster is catching up to Troller... Uh, to, to Rizzo. But he has to refuel soon. Maybe for 308 kilometers an hour. 315, 317, 320, 325. My last lap was the quickest. 328 before it goes off screen. 15% humidity. And picking up slowly. Not slowly, no, not fast enough, but... Yeah. There's a couple of close cars here, 19th and 20th, Squidhead, Pesky Boys, they're close. Uh, that's a battle, only a couple hundredths or tenths of a second apart. There's a couple of other close cars in the mid-20th from CW Rules down to... Uh, looks like the Bob Wiley are all within a second or two of each other. And a lot of that can just change so much with these long straightaways. But we are on the final Last. lap of the race. White flag is out. And my car has 7.4 kilos left. Will it pit or will it run? Will it run? Come on. How close are you to the front stretch? Close to the hairpin before the... Will no. I pit? We will not. Seven kilos are enough. Here comes Frankenstein. He's decided that 12 it kilos are going to be enough for his car. pit. I'm running with 6.8 kilos left. You Marcus, arrive on your fumes, but... <laughs> I will drive on fumes. Frankenstein, Marcus, and Viran are all comfortable with 12. Roland, are you comfortable with six and a half? I'm... My driver is probably sweating like hell. Well, that'll shed some water weight. That'll help. I'm intently watching the, the top portion of the leaderboard here. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a second in. Troller and, uh, coaster and a is half. pitting for the last time. So we knew that was going to happen. We are as we are on the last lap, and everyone's watching for the first place. Let's talk about 35th place, which is fun though. Fun it's just been overtaken by absurdist. Oh. Oh god. And Lord Red has just passed B-Pop Boy in 46, and they're, and they're four minutes behind the leaders. 
No, this reminds me when Jim Smaker might say news about the Dash and Arrow. Good Ooh. news! The great news. That's, that's, that's the point I'm trying to make. But yeah, thank you very much for noticing. That's like people complaining we don't talk about cars behind. No, yeah. let's talk about nerd. That's He's why. two laps behind. Ooh. Now, back on top. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, back at the front, we're Troller coaster is now on 22nd place, hunting up on Mad Emma 2 and Norman Vauxhall. And he didn't need a full fuel load, so he could break into the top 20 without a problem here if he drops the hammer. Well, he's dropping the hammer, I think. He should be. The Ban Hammer? No, the Ban Hammer is from me. Oh, he overtaken Mad Emma 2 and Norman Vauxhall. Anyway, back at the front. Marad is coming on to the uh, modern portion of the track that we're all familiar with. He's got the sharp kink at the top to get around. He is now approaching La Source. For the final time to... Flag is out. And... Oh, I pressed the button. Come on. Press Next. it. Come on. Blow up. And across the line. Yes, across the line. Merit. First place, place for Merit. Merit. Congratulations to Merat. And it's a it's a two second gap between second and third, but I think Air Jordan is going to hang on. Not enough left in the tank. Air Jordan on second and Kalinado on third place. Congratulations on Spa. both of you guys. Meanwhile, back in eighth place. There is a battle for eighth place between Leo and Purlix. Will Will he yes, he will yes, overtake. Yes, yes, we will, he will. Obviously. Yes, he has. Your car was much faster. And yes. right in front of that, Frankenstein, Biran, and Howler Automotive are all duking it out. Frankenstein looks like he's got fourth locked up, but Howler Automotive has just cleared Biran for fifth place coming into the yeah, final quarter. Yes, they're in the hairpin. Frankenstein accelerating Howler Automotive. Try to overtake Biran. Cross the line! Nothing to do! Biran, ooh, yeah. Marcus lost. Marcus lost two spots in that last sector alone. Wow, my car in a top tens. Right before Pirlix in ninth, and Puffster becoming will in take tenth, tenth place. Let's and now we wait. The auto scroll exactly forever here. Thank you. Eleventh place, Mr. Chip, very very closely followed by Stanson, right in twelfth place. Will yeah, Trollocoster okay, make it to play 16 or 15? Will he make it? Where is he even? Who? Trollocoster? Oh, he's on 17. 17? Yes. He came home. The diesel one of his is coming. Finishes. Matt Emma 2. Matt on 20. Yes. Ouch. Man, he the had diesel that on 22. Pesky Boy is on 21. Bale's yeah, mechanic. Bayer 24. Bayer 24. Yeah, Bob Wiley, 26. Right before Ticonderoy. Uh, Absurdus. Absurdus coming into wow. 28th place. Look at the pressure of the driver now. I wasn't expecting to see. I never saw that high in all the race. Now, the last lap, everybody. Freaking out. Clenching the butt cheeks BW together. rules just coming now to get the checker flag. He dropped nine positions. Must have needed an emergency pit stop. Crossing the line with 1.9 kilograms and brand new tires. Wow. CW a, rules was uh, planned pit stop. Yes, it was a planned stop. Wow. That's bad strategy for you. Yeah. Although he wouldn't have made it, so you definitely probably want to. I had 2.4 kilos left. 2.4. No, wait, but I think the pressure is going on once they stopped. Yes, in the pits they're like sweating. <sighs> Will I make it They're to starting Park to fighting each other. What the fuck? Anyway, Maybe this and is not first of all, them. first thing, saving. Yeah, of please course. save this one. I will take a third place finish. Okay, that was Spa Franca Champs for you live from uh, wherever you sit. Belgium. From Spa. <laughs> So, on from first Belgium, place, that we have obviously Merat. On second and on third, Ed Jordan and Carlinado. On fourth, Frankenstein. And on fifth, Howder Automotive. In sixth place, we have Vieran. In seventh place, Marcus 817. In eighth place, we have Leo 9613. 
9th place for Perlix and 10th place for Buster. In 11th, we have Mr. Chips. In 12th, Stenson. In 13th, Cool Key. 14th is Rizzo. And 15th is RC Racer 11M. I have to say, that was an interesting race indeed. Mm, well, and it was interesting I mean. on the results side, but it yes. wasn't an exciting one to it was, follow. It was a quite boring race since we had no yes. broken cars, there was no safety car rule, so if, if there would be a massive crash, there would be no safety car. No, no rain. rain. Yeah, no rain. Nothing really interesting happening, but it was... The the, the chat a... pointed something uh, interesting out during uh, the race. If you look at the forecast, right, every uh, vertical line is 15 minutes. Well, this race took like an hour. Usually our races take a little bit more than 90 minutes. So mm -hmm. if you look at the forecast for Spa there, you had basically no threat of rain until the 45-minute the mm -hmm. mark. And I think a lot of people thought that that forecast was fit to the length of the race. That's so I think why some you people should... might have prepared... Rain. That's that's why you should take a look into the BRC booklet and then take a look at the qualifying and the training because the training usually takes 20 laps and on Spa there was 20 lap training but the race took just 15 laps so mm -hmm. <clears throat> there you have it that's your result the the one training of the year I think other than I guess um, the 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 ring the green hell that uh will actually have more laps than the actual race right a spa also had more laps than the race. Right, th this one and, and Nordschleife. That's why you should take a look at... Uh, this is the most important thing. Like Castle Calden, I think this will be a dry race. Pretty much dry. Mm. Looks okay. like it. Hmm. Number of pit stops. Let's see... Shocker. Oh. Actually, wow. the Bob Wiley with five. That's more shocking. Five. Absurdist, four. Gen Jeff, yeah, the crash. Four. The Bob Wiley. True. You could okay. say it's just four stops because the the one was oh, oh. Ah, the one was uh, caused by the crash. Yeah, no crash. I, we can't see anything. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you have to open your eyes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a really long blink. Yes. Indeed. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. All right, back. but yeah, it's not like a big surprise on the on on the terms of stops. Like uh, you can see, my my no pit stop strategy almost worked out. I mean, but, you uh, finished not all almost. It worked out. Come on, that, that, I can I count that as working. Yep. <laughs> I mean, what has your average finish been before today? Like Thirty something? Yeah, I mean, to pl around <laughs> place twenty. I'm pretty so, happy with I mean, this result. Uh, yeah, a, a 20 spot gain is pretty good. Number scroll of down the, laps. Scroll well, down the pit stop. I just want to check how many people made one stop. Oh, so there was a couple of guys make one stop. A big one amount stop, okay. of one stoppers. And then yeah, two zero stoppers. Oh. Oh, Fanta. Didn't even notice. For some people, it works out. For some, it doesn't. It, it is a strategy that is very risky because you will lose time a lot over the course of the lap uh, and yeah you have to consider that well hey all of your podium finishers pulled a one-stop strategy indeed hmm. well except for how automotive who did three stops well, that's but, not his, podium. but his car is uh, true he is i'm just looking at the wrong podium sorry oh <laughs> <laughs> i'm podium. looking at the okay. standings <laughs> leading nah. laps Oh, well, there are not many laps done here, but Mera did almost all of them. So, yep. tr so basically, Troller Coaster led the first two, Leo led the third one, and then Merat re led the rest. Yeah, indeed. Fuel consume. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> Can I was I was expecting more. Yeah, me too. Uh, me too. Me too. But then let's take let's take a Kalex. It's 440 kilos. That's around 600 liters. Of uh, what's that? Fuel? Uh, multiply by divide by one not point eight. Uh, around. So what, what do we have to what do we have to multiply kilograms by to get liters? Divide by not point eight. 550. Well, 550 yeah. liters. So yeah, GG. I can you can put that in a Prius and drive forever. It's 145.7 yeah. gallons. 
which no one cares about. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> I do. I don't know what 600 liters is. It's, it's <laughs> like it's like six, 660 bottles of one liter. Okay, easy. <laughs> <laughs> or, or better, you, you could use the ultimate measurement. It's five bathtubs, or something yeah. like that. I don't know how 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 big the average bathtub in the USA is. Uh, so you know, five hundred and fifty liters. That's uh universal measurement here. That's seven hundred and fifty three bottles of wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so many wine. Oh, how many displacements is it in uh, in uh, V eight? <laughs> Well, what, what V8 are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> it's around 100 V8. It's almost around 100 V8. It's a lot, a lot of V8s. That's yeah. 70, 78.6 uh, Hellcat engines. <laughs> 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 that's, that's measurements. That's like precise. Also, since you did bottle of wines, I had to do the American. That's uh, how many bottles of wine did you say it was? 730 or something. Okay, it's 314.3 handles of whiskey. <laughs> in ounce, anybody? Or in pints? Liquid ounces, or Square yeah. furlong. You want to use cubic furlong? Yeah? <laughs> I don't know how many cores that is. Look at the fuel consumption, though. Uh, I'm looking at the lower place, like at the lower part of the table. Look at... Um... How much fuel people consume? Consume like I can imagine it. Warlord, Doctor Nafi, everything up to fifty-four could have done a nose post-op strategy. But it, no cars did have any crash. No exploding engine. Nothing. All the cars started. All the cars finished. Right? Yes. Yeah. No, nobody. Oh, nobody. Was boring tired. it was. <laughs> uh, this is also quite an interesting gap. Like you see, torque was a drop. And Leo had an impressive drop there at one point. Yeah, the first that, pit that was the first course. pit stop. He dropped a lot, then you can see he slowly right, worked he his way back. up here. Probably Gaplap would be better to be. Also, Norman yeah. Voxel, look, you are, you are readable you here. And you not readable down there. Also, really, really interesting about this, though. Um, the, the gap lap will actually identify it better. So yeah, we'll go to that one. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Look, absurd. Look, at abs look, look at Absurdist. He dropped in the first wow. lap. Boom, down. Just dropped and never came back. Also the Bob Wild. Well, he had to crash at, at some point, but also right. dropped a lot. And Matt MR2 is another one that just dropped and... Yep. But let's take a look at the Could gaps. Spend the test of time. Yeah, the gaps. Uh... Oh. Now, what I wanted to point out on this one, though, is there were clusters in this Indeed. race. So you had Marat in the front. Then second and third place were their own little cluster that were about 20 seconds behind um, at the end of the race, or 10 seconds, I can't remember. But then the rest of the top 10 is its own little cluster. And then Puffster is, like, by himself. Then you have another cluster that's like the top 25, another cluster is like Indeed. down to 40, and then people that were just laps down behind that. Indeed. It's Indeed. usually a little more spread. And then looking at damage, like... I missed the 100 numbers here. Where's the 100? Yes. I thought we were going to see it today. I guess maybe the track's too wide and just everybody's moving too fast that you don't have to so. into each other. So many people, <clears throat> famous people, crashed died and so on in that spot that it should have been a a bloodbath out there Th there you have it proof that the brc drivers are the best racing drivers in, in the, the world, world. <laughs> <laughs> it's facts you people this is these are facts time in pits time in pits well truck was almost spent three minutes in the pits we should like rename the troller coaster pit like pit of shame <laughs> <laughs> it's always there. <laughs> Not again. The Not troller again. coaster pit paddock of regret. <laughs> the, the the people that the pit crew looks at Toro and get out, drive. But my fuel no, 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 tank is empty. The, the troller coaster pit paddock of global warming. <laughs> that indeed is global warming. For by him, he's going to pay for all that fuel. No, it's the Mexicans who pay for it. Course. He's from Russia. He just taps into the ground. It's fine. It's like drilling for well water in the States. 
God's bottom pay for that. Tileware. It's ex it's interesting. Ooh. It's not AKM on top one. It's wow. him. Well, all the the all the wheel spin happens. And, you know, tires get worn. Yes, acceleration. Yeah. Wheel spin in fifth gear, no problem. We got you covered. That we can do. No Ooh! Wow. Not even twenty. Your wow. tires are like mint. Mint I condition. I can use it next time for like. Next yeah, race. Keep it. Number of refs done. <sighs> A stat I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't tell me anything. Like he done five hundred thousand refs. Yeah, it it tells one thing to us that Merat didn't blow up the engine again. <laughs> I mean, he, he's twenty third most. Thing ref, that... So I mean, yeah, but... I wish there was a way to like qualify this. A way to identify what means what. Why does, does it, it mean that the taller has a 10,000 RPM engine? I don't know. Number of errors yeah, done. I mean. Well, we can count Merit here or anyone from the top three. Yeah. Well, I mean, you only had what? Leo. 14 people made errors. Yeah. We have Leo that made an error. I didn't remember. Me neither. I didn't. Uh, was that when you hit the wall? I didn't hit the wall. Well, it could oh, be um, small errors, exciting. small errors, and not recorded any, or like uh, not displayed. Oh, like that's everything right. that's below oh. one percent does no damage. That's not displayed to us because like irrelevant. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking maybe this race is so boring that maybe we can just start Castle Calder now. Like go, let's let's do it. Yeah, just do I'm... it. <laughs> We've but, only been at but, it for an hour. And guys, minutes. are you are you prepared for the next tab? Ooh. It's V Max. Three hundred. Well, wait, what was it? It was three hundred and thirty something, wasn't it? I, 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 I remember. Three hundred forty-one. I guess three hundred forty-one. The I saw three three six. So let's take a look at the V Max. Ooh, okay. Yay. Roland, wow. look. What? What? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? What, did that what? what did you done? <laughs> that did you change must the car? be. That nah, that must be in draft, I think. Did, did did you like block troller coaster and he just pushed you? What how? A tow hook. I threw a, do a tow hook. Grab I just I think more of uh, me being in the draft. Wow. And you actually like, uh, the track of you being have downhill. Tall gears on that thing. But, but you I have, have quite tall gears. Drive gear, I guess. Yes, my last oh, gear is like why? fucking overdrive. <laughs> why? Of course, an overdrive. Either for saving makes of six speed oh. transmission for for this track. Well, it just made it for economy, so low economy is good. Well, that really? doesn't make sense, but anyway. <laughs> Indeed. Wow. Better Scroll moves. down. I want to see the diesel. How much top yeah, speed? Let's try. Let's down. try and get everybody. Nah, to not too, speed. not too bad, but it's a hundred. It's like. <laughs> How much slower? 70 grams slower than Troller Coaster? No, 60... 70... Around How much 70. in gallons? He was, he was what, 336? Yeah. How many yards per second was is that? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many furlong uh, a week? It is. It was, it was what, 70 kilometer an hour difference? Miles per hour, that's... Here. But then again, 3.5 mile an hour difference, and you want it in oh, yards man. per second? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So we can we can understand how how many how many um, lati longitude. Point two four one five uh, yards per second, and I'm not doing the reps. Y'all can get over it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very useful. It's <laughs> very in useful. Light, in, in light speed, how many? How many decimal C we have? Uh, okay, we... fuck. How many millimeters per? E <laughs> yeah. How many I, 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 millimeters per, per second? You mean that C is just multiplied by one million? One, one million. That's yeah, the it's theory easy. of the metric. Actually, it's, it's, it's different. The di thing. So we need the most important stat, and that's thirty-eight knots difference. Anyway, who wow. was mm, this mm, mm. car on the track? Nerd on the van. But I did Kyle, 2.25. Kyle is somewhere he here on 5th place, 2.89. No, 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 I mean, it doesn't... It, it, not here anymore, it's not speaking. 
<laughs> really? Maybe yeah, but he was kicked because he was uh, complaining about the metrical system. So <laughs> the, the universe said, fuck <laughs> you. Away. Nah, that Man. didn't happen. I'm pretty sure I'm still here. Yeah. Oh, I'm also damn it. Sure. He just tricked Your us. Your button is not working today, Andre. Give up. And the best lap, obviously, what should I say? Fairly. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on number 20. That's not bad. It's faster than me, so really. But you have a but diesel. That's top speed. Yeah, I have diesel, but it's just written on the on the side. The diesel. <laughs> it's running on petrol. I, I tell you a secret. It's running on petrol. Oh, but it's driven by Rudolf Diesel. In himself, yes. That explains why it's so slow. Some cars that I'm actually really surprised to see some people over four minutes. Yeah, like for yeah. The, everything here. Gr that's over four minutes. It's slow, slow. The van but, actually isn't that bad comparatively. It's yeah. a 421. <laughs> yeah, it's a f it's faster than the sedan from Warlord. Maybe Ned could gain some bonus if he brings some fuel for Troller Coaster so he could refill it on the, during the, the race. Rolling so, refueling. Yes, exactly. Let's take a look at this. So, uh, uh, standings. Yes. No, we didn't find this. We have... Oh. Marat and uh, Halloran will still be close together. Not yeah, but that Halloran close. did not have the day he needed. No, it was not yeah. his day today. He would be closer now, but it's still winnable. It's still... Oh, everything is still open. Not like in 66 where it was like, okay, Perlix won because... Yeah. He has Who's gonna finish points. second? Well, I have to say that your cars won just because the Snopress didn't have a chance to express all the power. Because, yeah, because at the end of the season, the Snopress had a very good mark. It, it arrives first in a race. Come on. Yeah, I was literally jinxed in the last season. It was exploding too much. There's two, there's two races left, Norman. You've got, or you've got time. You've got time for the, the Snopress. For, what? for Explode again? Exactly. No. Yes, exactly. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just because now we are sharing the same position in the in the chart, I'm not going to let you <laughs> take that spot, okay? But Just looking because at... the metric system is better, that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, we, the... Well, well, right now the imperial system is better because I am on top. No, yes. no, 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 no. Right now, right now the metric system is winning with the Austrian. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But looking at this graph, you can see that Halomolev was on top of uh, Marat, it sounds so wrong, mm, uh, for a hit. long time. And then Marat eroded. slowly gaining. Every race eroded a bit of the advantage that Holy Automotive had, until now that the gap is widening. Now what could happen is Marat having an accident for some reason and dropping a lot. And still be fighting in this race, but not that much anymore. I don't know. The next race, the next two races are pretty much decided. Um, this make make the, the the difference, I think. Yeah, we have to say that this this season, Mars Engineering take made a very great car. Indeed. Yes. The did. the ME DX uh, C I think it is. I don't know. Is a really good car. It. Um, it's quite fast, I have to say. Looking at the mm -hmm. stats like Diepholz, first place, Norrisring, first place, Hockenheim, second, uh, Mainz, Finton, second, Spa, first. Oh, I get it, why? Why? Because usually Austrian in Germany, they are able to leave and make <laughs> a lot of trouble. So, race <laughs> running in Germany probably give him an advantage. That's the yeah. trouble. In Belgium, in Belgium right today was just Grand German, Germany. Yes, it was just him marching through Belgium. And yes, we all as know usual. Going Germans... around the Maginot Line. Yes. Yes, exactly. exactly. All the time. <laughs> from, think... from the Maginot Line, let's take the shortcut. And I think on this Maginot Line bombshell, it's time to end this evening. Thank you everybody for being here and following the streaming and hope you guys to see you next uh, race. Thank you guys so for long, joining this, this stream. Thank you guys for commentating. It's a pleasure to have you inside here every time. It's a pleasure for us to be here and thank you for the chance. And the Imperial system is still better. <laughs> and uh, on the Imperial system is better. See you guys next time. Metric oh, ones. No.
metric 